Hey Tatians friends, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is in answering your question, responding to comments, all that fun stuff. Today's video will be, there's a few comments I'm going to talk about, a few questions, critiques. I don't think anything's going to get too spicy. At the end of this video, I'm going to kind of talk to you guys and update personally what's been happening in my life the past few months. And it's not really me, but people within my life and what's been happening, kind of like why I've been uh, not around as much as I thought I was going to be. Uh, this is going to be a very kind of heavy video at the end, at the end. And I'm going to try and not have it be too heavy in the beginning. If you're unfamiliar with what these videos are, I like to go back and respond to comments that you guys have for me, uh, continue conversations, debates. I, I love doing these videos. It's a way to connect with you guys. And I actually did this not too long ago, but because I haven't been super active on YouTube and social media, like on Instagram and stuff, uh, there's been a lot of comments, which has been wonderful. And I figured since there's been a lot of comments, some of them have been really lighthearted, really fun. Some of them have been really critical, which I love. I don't mind it when you guys are critical. I figured now would be a good time to kind of sit down since we're going from summer, we're going into fall. There's a lot of transitionary things happening. I figured today would be a good day. I'm in the right mindset to do this, to sit down and chat. I don't know if this video is going to be long. Obviously, by the time this video is uploaded, you'll see how long this video is. I don't know at this current point in time how long this video will be, but this is a chatty video. So yeah, let's the first go. thing is if I talk about anything. If I reference any of my past videos, I will link them below. Um, I also get this all the time. I just have to kind of let you guys know if I look off camera, if it looks like I'm not looking at camera, I get this is one of the biggest critiques of my channel. I get migraines. Like I have a lazy eye. I have like one eye is farsighted, one eye is nearsighted. I film on an iPad. Um, and to look at the iPad to where I'm looking at you guys, I'd have to look right here but I'd have to keep a pinpoint because I use the big viewfinder. I'd have to keep pinpoint, like look at it and doing that triggers like my migraines. So I don't do that. That's why it looks like I'm not connecting with you guys and why I'm looking off camera. It's a very deliberate thing that I do and it is the biggest critique of my channel. And I mention it all the time. And I want to let you guys know that it is, I know that I do it. <laughs> so just, just letting, letting you guys know that. Uh, the other thing too is obviously if I speak about anything in, in regards to sponsorships, other fragrance influencers, anything in the industry, I can only speak for myself. I have no authority to speak for anybody else and nobody else should speak for anybody else because nobody knows anybody else's business. So I only am speaking to my own experiences, my own opinions, and I can't speak for the community at whole, obviously. So let's get into the comments. Start off with this little lighthearted one because I think this is funny and cute and very much been something that has been happening to me recently. So this is in my video, my most worn perfumes in July, 2022. And this comment is from NT and their comment is, do you encounter snakes or other critters when you're out gardening? I'm from the Pacific Northwest. So I'm going to kind of set up this um, answer and say that I've talked before about my, my chronic illnesses. I have Ehlers-Danlos Syndrome, hypermobile, a very benign version of it, like very, very benign, enough though to where I have like very severe joint pain. Like if I walk wrong, I will roll my joints and I will be in severe pain for hours, but I don't have the supreme bendiness that most people have. I also have fibromyalgia, endometriosis, uh, IBS, a uh, variety of different chronic illnesses, uh, hooray, that make it very hard for me to be active. And being active is so important for my just general health. And gardening, I have found, has been something that I can get like cardio physical activity. I can go outside. I can work the amount of physical exercise and activity that I've been able to do with gardening has given me the ability 
physically to be able to start working out more and to gain more health. Now, people who deal with chronic illnesses, telling them to walk it off or to go to yoga, that's not in the cards for a lot of people with chronic illnesses. But for me, for me, because my, specifically my HEDS, which I call it, uh, which is called uh, hypermobile uh, Ehlers-Danlos Syndrome, is so benign that it is, I can be more physical with it than other people. So I am the person that can go walk it off. That does not mean people who have these diseases can walk it off. But I was not able to get to that point. So when I found that gardening and working in the yard was able to give me the strength and endurance and the physical activity and the exercises I needed to be able to start doing a lot of the physical training because I was working with a physical therapist to build the muscle in the areas to kind of hold my joints together so that way my uh, connective tissues weren't all bubblegum because that's what I needed to do was to build muscle in specific areas and build strength. I, w I started gardening all the time and I started to notice a lot of the local flora and fauna. So one of the things about when I moved up here that I noticed was that when I lived down south in South Florida, we had like a lot of different types of random birds. Our gas station had peacocks and that was really fun. And then we had peacocks that would wander, wander into our yard and we would have chickens that would wander into our yard. So our local flora and fauna down south was like iguanas and peacocks and ibis and ducks and uh, curly tail lizards and sometimes alligators and manatees because I lived on the river and we would have manatees come by and it was really cool. So those were the critters down south. Up here in northern central Florida, I live in Gainesville right now. Um, first where I live in the area in Gainesville I live is kind of like kind of like rural farmy area but not actual farms. So my neighbors have horses and alpaca and like when I mean my neighbors I mean like I can stand outside and look one way and see a horse and one way and hear chickens and uh, miniature cows got out and they were literally like a block down the street like my stop uh, not my stop yeah my stop sign to get out there was a bunch of miniature cows that got out and there's like a, the big house in the neighborhood they have cows now so like I live like our local critters right now are a little bit more farming which I love I love this area so much. So the local critters that I found through gardening actually are exciting. So we have in our yard now, we have a yard owl. <laughs> I don't know, I haven't figured out what owl he is, but every night I try to walk the yard because we live on like an acre and a quarter. So I try to walk the yard when it's not too hot. And so the, the owl will follow us. So we have a yard owl, which is fun at night. Um, I forget what we named him, but we have a yard cardinal, and I named him Cardi B. Um, and I know obviously that sounds horrible. I named him Cardinal Bird, <laughs> and so his nickname is Cardi B. There's a lot of cardinals up here. And he, and I know he's the same bird because he has a very distinctive beak, like something happened to his beak. So we have the resident critters farm animals. We have a yard owl, we have a yard hawk. We have bunny rabbits. We have gophers. So we have lots of gopher holes. We have moles. Uh, we have big snakes. It's coral snake season up here. So I'm very mindful about specific areas where I, um, where I'm like working because of the coral snakes. We had a gopher tortoise, a very large gopher tortoise make his home in our yard for like a month. So he was wandering around, we named him Mortimer. I think he is like the, the yard, uh, not the yard, the neighborhood's gopher tortoise, because I think I saw him someplace else, because he was again, very distinctive, very huge. And they are endangered, so like you do not touch them, obviously, we leave them alone, same thing with the manatees. But it was really cool to have him come visit us from time to time, so we had a gopher tortoise. We have giant cranes that we will see sometimes hang out in our yard. Um, mostly sometimes you will see giant snakes. Like there was, I think a gopher snake, I think it's what it's called. There is in the Pines Prairie area, there's buffalo 
I haven't seen them, but they're kind of the critters, but not in our yard, but that would be kind of awesome if I woke up one day. We see a lot of deer, a lot of, a lot of deer, a lot of deer. Um, foxes, I know we have coyotes, I haven't seen one, but I know that our neighborhood has coyotes. But in my yard, in my, in my yard, I've seen rabbits, snakes, owls, cranes, um, gophers, moles, uh, foxes. So yeah, I don't think I've seen anything that caught me off guard. Like deer is really cool to see. I used to live in deer field and see a single deer, see him all the time up here, all the time. Um, see an owl every single day practically, um, rarely saw them down south. But up here, there's a lot more what I would consider wildlife. And down south, it was more just kind of like reptiles, which I also really loved. So yeah, there is a lot of animals that we get to see just from the house, which is really, really nice. So to everyone who on past videos wished me a happy birthday, thank you. My birthday was a few days ago, August 16th. I turned I think 38 I really don't keep track of my age anymore just because I don't care I'm not one of those people that was like a big birthday celebrator I just get excited my birthday month because it's an excuse to buy more perfume but I think I'm 38 I think I'm 38 but to everyone that wished me a happy birthday thank you and to any August babies out there happy birthday to you as well I think this is a great comment this is on my uh, it has nothing to do with the video but this is on my uh, favorite gray market websites. This is from a father to the father of this. Yeah, I don't think drinking two entire pots of coffee a day is something to boast about. That's very unhealthy. I'm not a very healthy person. I try very hard. I have like chronic fatigue. <laughs> and if I don't have a specific amount of caffeine in my body, I will quite literally like lay on my floor and just pass out like asleep or just not move. It is a do as I say, not as I do thing. Um, it is not healthy, especially when you have GI issues, definitely not healthy, but yes. Um, it's not something to boast about at all, <laughs> but I do have to drink an unhealthy amount of caffeine and able to, to be able to function, to be able to cognitively function. Otherwise, I'm just... This is on my Nua review from Raja. Uh, first, Alma Toledo, they responded, hello, loving the orange locks, thank you. I've had orange for almost half a year now. It's looking a little faded, but it's okay. Thank you, I'm glad. A lot of people like my orange hair. I love my orange hair. Um, and then their response is, I have a decan in my cart. Greta, another reviewer, I'll link her channel below. She's a fantastic reviewer. I love her channel and her content. Commented, it is her number one, or at least in her top five. Excellent chant, as always. Yes. Nua is gorgeous, love it. I reviewed the fragrance. It is what was the big purchase for this month. I will talk about that after this comment. Um, beautiful fragrance from the House of Raja. Um, I am enraptured with it. It's been one I've been needing to buy for, for, for years, for years and years and years. I don't know why it took so long. Very expensive, full retail price, over $1,000. So ex pricey bottle. And even if you find it at gray market, you're looking at, if you're lucky, spending $700 to like $900. It's still very expensive, inaccessibly priced, but in my opinion, something I needed to have in my collection. And in the review, I talk about that. So I'm not saying everybody needs it, but I myself wanted it and needed it. And it was a birthday gift to myself. But this, this is the comment I want to talk about. Can you recommend a reliable site where I can get a sample of Nua? So if you wanted to get a sample of Nua, the two places I would recommend checking out is first, Lucky Scent or two, Beverly Hills Perfumery. Those are the two places. I will link them below. None of those are affiliate links, so don't worry about that. But those are the two places if you want to, to get samples. And those are the two places if you're looking for some of these super high-end expensive fragrances for decants or samples uh, if you wanted to purchase check them out you can also go to the places website or you can check out crystal fragrance crystal fragrance has a fantastic selection but doesn't have everything and sometimes lucky scent will be out of things so that's why it's nice to have a nice variety so i'll link those below but i do not believe crystal fragrance has raja but i will link it below anyway i'll link them below anyway because they do have a nice selection of a variety of different things so 
um, to purchase samples and decants, I think that is a smart way to try things on your skin, especially very expensive bottles of perfume. And that particular one I know you can get at Lucky Scent and Beverly Hills Perfumery. So those are the comments. I tried them, tried to have them not be too crazy, too in-depth. There was a, a thing I cut out where I talked for literally 45 minutes. That's why my throat's a little harsh, uh, harsh right now. And then I remembered I had responded to that like two videos ago. So I decided, I don't know why I don't reference older videos. Sometimes I like look at comments, I'm like, oh, that's, that's so good. And then I like realized, oh wait, I already filled that. So anyway, thank you guys so much for watching this portion if you only cared about the questions and comments. I'm gonna give you guys a little bit of a personal update because I have get a lot of emails and DMs on Instagram asking where I am when I'm a little bit absent from YouTube and Instagram. So I know that these past, I'd say four to five months, my upload schedule has been sporadic. I usually have a Monday to Friday schedule. And the last time I've had this kind of absence is during the car accident last year. And any time I've mentioned this before, any time I disappear from YouTube, it's because something's happened on this side of the camera that requires my immediate attention. YouTube is my hobby, and this is a hobby that I love. I love connecting with people that share a passion. I love learning from you guys. I love sharing my passion with you guys. I'm not going anywhere. I'm not stopping my YouTube channel. So I know some people have asked if I'm getting rid of my YouTube channel because I've been doing this for a very long period of time. No. But what, since it is a hobby, when you have to spend time giving up something because you need a specific amount of time, if you need hours in a day doing something, you, you trim the fat first. And YouTube is the fat that I trim from. So if I'm too tired, if I'm too sick, if there's things going on this side of the camera that require my attention, I only have so many spoons. Like I said, I have a lot of chronic illnesses. I'm a spoonie. Uh, my spoons get taken from YouTube first. If I film a six minute video, that's like three hours of work for me, believe it or not, it's a lot of work. So these past few months, there's been a lot of things that have happened. A lot of great things. Ugh, really figuring out, like the best thing that happened to me and speaking as somebody with chronic illnesses, you need to find like a doctor that listens to you. The best thing that happened to me from the accident, even though it was horrible, was finding my, my gynecologist. She has been so proactive with everything, everything. And I am on different medications, different treatments, and it's given me what I needed to give me the push to be more active. And in being more active, I've had more energy to focus on my health and a little less sitting down and filming. And I love to sit down and film and I'm going to be doing it Monday through Friday the second I can. But when I take time away from uh, doing things, I don't take it away from my activity because for my health, I need, I need it. So, there has been a lot going on, personal-wise, relationship-wise, health-wise, just inner relationship-wise with living situations, you know, with my mom being here and, you know, John and I, there's just been a lot of stress and that weighs very much on me being an introvert and, you know, anxiety, depression, all that kind of fun stuff. But then, you know, life throws you crazy curveballs. And the first curveball it throw, threw me after everything was kind of getting situated was, you know, obviously I mentioned this before, is my mother-in-law fell and fractured her spine. And she was, she ultimately recovered, but that threw a wrench in filming and, you know, just, it caused a lot of turmoil for us because we obviously love her and care about her and her being sick and being in the hospital and obviously taking care of her just is somebody with chronic illnesses even somebody who has like perfect health taking care of somebody is hard 
and she was pretty good about taking care of herself, but it was just mentally and emotionally and existentially, it just was exhausting. And we finally got over that hump and she's better now, which is fantastic. She's a trooper. I mean, for her, it was more um, superficial. <laughs> so thankfully she didn't lose any mobility. It just kind of shook her up a little bit. And then we got a phone call like two weeks later and it was from our father-in-law called my husband and he basically told him that he had terminal cancer and this came completely out of the blue this was the end of june and about a week ago he passed so this past month and a half has been Hard. My husband's relationship with my father is his relationship with his father. I can't pretend to understand anyone's interpersonal relationships with family members because every, everything is so complicated. But I do know that my husband deeply cared about his father and this was very, very hard on him. On top of it being just emotionally hard and a complete shock, uh, he lived six hours away. So. The, the second we knew, the second we could go, we drove down and visited him. And uh, it was hard for him to talk because it was in his brain. It was everywhere. He couldn't have a good time forming sentences. I mean, his wife was lovely, taking care of him, being there for him and things like that. But, you know, like it's hard to kind of connect with somebody that you want to talk about and kind of, you know, it was just hard. And then we came back up. We thought we had more time and then we he went down again and things had deteriorated faster as cancer does and then he came back up and then we got a call like come back down say goodbye and it's been rough it's been real rough for me even though he's not my father he was a wonderful man very talented artist singer just an incredibly talented man watching my husband go through that obviously was horrible um, it also reminded me very much of my father dying of cancer, um, reminded me very much of all that. So it kind of brought up and, you know, silted up all of that. Uh, so that was kind of rough. Um, on top of seeing somebody who doesn't deserve to suffer the way they did, having to deal with that and watching, you know, their wife deal with, you know, the caregiving and the, you know, understanding where she's coming from. It's hard empathetically it's it's been a rough few weeks it's been rough so that's where I've been is I know I mentioned that life keeps throwing things at us and it's not just us I know life's been throwing things at everybody but it's real hard to take a breath when waves keep crashing on you when you barely can put your head above water and take a deep enough breath before something crashes on you again it's debilitating sometimes. And so if I do have a moment to breathe, I get those moments by stepping away from YouTube. And it's not that YouTube is a problem. I actually use YouTube as an outlet, but sometimes I need to take a nap. <laughs> sometimes I only have two hours in the day because maybe we're traveling and so I have to do a bunch of chores so that way we can go be in a car for eight hours. Um, and if I only have two hours, do I exercise or do I film? And for me, I need to exercise for my physical health. So that's kind of like what I mean is like I'm, I step away from YouTube. But we, we move forward. Life goes on. Life is tragic. Cancer is stupid. I hate it. It's taken too many people away. But we move forward. But to everyone who's reached out, Thank you asking how I've been. I have been way better than other people. Um, ultimately, it is what it is. But to everyone who's been wonderful and supportive and amazing, I truly appreciate it. And I will be back. I'm trying to film and talk to you guys and interact with you guys as much as possible. Um, also, I mentioned before, usually my birthday months, I go crazy in purchasing things. Um, I had plans to purchase a lot more than I did, <laughs> and um, I just haven't had the um, I haven't had the motivation to buy anything. 
I purchased things that I really wanted to. The two things that I absolutely needed to buy was Nightingale from Dix and Zach and Nua. Those are things I needed to buy. And there's like one other thing. Um, and then there's like one or two Lalevas that I have to purchase next month. So um, I know I hyped up this month's haul video. I just, I, I don't know. I just, I need to be in a better mind state. I, I want to talk about this too. I don't buy things as retail therapy. I know some people are like, oh, she's got a fragrance addiction. I know looking at this, I, I buy fragrances because I love them. And I buy fragrances because they make me happy. But I don't buy fragrances to fill a void. I don't buy fragrances to make me happy. If I don't feel a desire to purchase anything, I don't. And I think with everything that's been going on the past few weeks, aside from really wanting to get Nua and wanting to get Nightingale, I just haven't had the motivation to purchase anything because it's been just so rough and there's been more important things on my mind. So I know that <laughs> probably September, once everything kind of settles, I might be a little crazy, but uh, if you've been looking forward to a huge haul, uh, I'm gonna disappoint you guys. <laughs> I'm gonna disappoint you guys, so I'm just letting you guys know. But um, to everyone that's reached out, thank you. Thank you so much. Um, and I will be back. I mean, obviously I'm filming today. I'm gonna try and film tomorrow. And I will be back to a normally scheduled program once I'm physically able to um, do everything. But I'm not going anywhere. I'm still here. I just want life karma to just calm down. Just take a breath. Take a breather. Just take a nap. Just, 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 just you know, chill out. Have a, have a sandwich. Maybe have a, some ice cream. Just stop throwing things at us. I would like a break, please, and thank you. But thank you guys so much for watching this video. Hope you enjoyed it. Part of it was fun and lighthearted. We were talking about foxes and owls. I know the end of it got a little heavy when talking about that, but I figured I'd let you guys know because I've been kind of disappearing. <laughs> so I hope you guys are all happy and healthy. And if there's somebody out there you haven't talked to in a long time and you've been meaning to reach out to, reach out to them. I know that's so cliche of me to say, but re reach out to them. Anyway, I hope you guys have a great day, and I will see you next time.